everyone, welcome back to another video. So this video is a requested one after a few messages I got after my last video, which basically showed how much I'm making online and, and how much I make through YouTube and affiliate links and all that kind of stuff. And after that, quite a few people were interested in starting a YouTube channel or boosting their income from their YouTube channel because my channel is like small, you know, in the grand scheme of YouTube, it's tiny, but I do make quite good money from it, you know, considering the size of it and the fact that I do, 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 <laughs> and the fact that I do, do all of YouTube, I can't even speak, the fact that I do, do all my videos and all my YouTube stuff in about an hour a week, I still keep it to about an hour a week, maybe I'll up it in the future, um, but at the minute, an hour a week and the amount I'm getting back from it is amazing. All right, it's probably gonna take me longer than an hour a week this week because my children are at home, I have two children, I'm a single parent, and it's it's a fun time, isn't it? It's a fun time. Uh, <laughs> so I like to keep my whole YouTube system really quick, really easy, and really cheap. Uh, my whole idea is that if I can record a video, edit it, and get it up in an hour, that's kind of my whole plan. I don't want it to be this big drawn out thing um, or because then I just wouldn't do it. So if you're looking for like professional skills or anything, this video is not for you. But I'll just show you a quick and easy and free way to make videos, edit them, to screen share and all that kind of stuff. So what I would say is you should really think about what you're wanting to do with your channel. Like are you wanting to make money or are you wanting to... Um, make more sales if you have your own site or you sell on eBay or something or are you wanting to just make videos for fun or gain subscribers you kind of have to know what your aim is so that you can you know you can plan around that if it's just for fun and you just want to do whatever then cool but if you don't have that aim it's going to be really hard for you to reach you reach it because you don't you don't even know what it is. So I do plan my YouTube videos, not in advance. I will just plan them probably on the day or maybe I'll have like an idea during the week and then I'll just write it down. But I'm one of them people that love planning anyway. So I do plan things more than more than is necessary probably. For example, this video, I've got like a two page plan. <laughs> so I do write things that I just love writing on pen and paper. I'm more into writing on pen and paper than on computers. So that's just my preference everything I talk about in this video will be put into a blog post as well because it just makes it easier plus then it means I don't forget anything because I am prone to just waffling on for hours and having to edit it all out now if you are focusing on specifically making money I do also do a bit of keyword research nothing too in-depth I'll type the title of my video so I'll think of a title like I don't know um making videos on YouTube and <clears throat> see what other videos come up see what the big ones are like to see if they are popular i use tubebuddy which i've talked about before and that's awesome for this kind of thing because it will tell you how many searches that specific term gets but also it'll tell you about the competition so if the competition's like really huge and there is some like you know loads of really popular youtubers who have made that video yours probably isn't going to be as popular so if you are, if your goal is to get more views or more subscribers or to make money or to grow your channel, you're going to want to go after keywords aren't as broad. So instead of using like a really broad title, say like eBay reseller, there is, I don't know how many eBay reseller people there are on YouTube now, I don't know, but there is a lot of videos. So if you type that in, there'll just be so many and all the big ones will come up. So the idea is to kind of make it a bit more specific. And think about YouTube as a search engine. So the title is what someone's typing in to find your video. So try and make it kind of like a search term that someone would type. That's gonna make more people find it. You know, you could have the best videos in the world, but if no one can find them, no one's gonna see them. So once I have my plan, recording my videos, I don't have a special camera or anything. I just use my phone and it's a very cheap phone. I don't even know what kind of phone it is. I've had it a while, um, it's nothing special, it's not like an iPhone or anything like that. Um, but it does the job, I don't need anything better than this I don't think for these videos. So I really wouldn't say go out and buy like a flash camera, just use what you have. Pretty much everybody's got a smartphone and that's perfectly adequate. I did get a new microphone not long ago because the microphone on my phone is actually really bad and it's really crackly. If you have a better phone than me, which you probably do, uh, the microphone is probably suitable, it's probably fine. The only thing that I would say is important is lighting. So I use this ring light, which I love actually, but I got it to actually use to, um, for eBay 
pictures so i got it for photography reasons but it's also got like a little thing in the middle which you can put your phone in it came with a few little tripods so there's some mini ones which is cool because this just sits on my desk but i also have a big one like this um which it can sit on the top of so it's really handy obviously if you can't afford a light don't worry about it. just sit in front of a window but i think it just looks so much better like i'll show you like with the light off you can totally see it look at the bags under my eyes <laughs> but with the light on they disappear it's magic if you follow me on instagram if not the link is in the description if you go onto my instagram bio is that what it's called <laughs> uh, and click on it there's like some links and amazon storefront is where i just link to all the stuff that i use and talk about just because people ask like where'd you get this where'd you get this it's pretty much all from amazon and these are the new lights that i just got that i absolutely love they were was it 150 but look they are so cool they have like little screens on the back where you can change things on it they're so cool i love them so i may start using them but obviously you don't need anything like that all right next is my microphone like i said i think light and sound is is important now there's my microphone it was 45 quid all right so it wasn't that cheap it's 45 pound but i like it and it's pink so it looks cool oh rose red actually well yeah but i think any microphone will do the next thing i use is a free screen recorder I guess you would call it what even is it screen castify screen video recorder yeah it's just a chrome extension sometimes i use a chromebook for recording screens and doing screenshots and things like that you just get this little extension in the top and you just click it and it can record your screen or just the tab or whatever then it saves right to google drive so once i've finished recording on here that automatically saves to google drive as well which I find is the easiest because then you can get it from anywhere like or whatever device you're using. You can just go to Google Drive and download it to whatever computer or laptop or tablet you're using. So then they're all in Google Drive, then I'll download them. The editing software that I use is called Filmora by Wondershare. So I specifically got Filmora because it was free and you can use it for free. The only thing with the free version is it has the watermark on the screen, like at the bottom somewhere, which really isn't a big deal if you're just, you know, if you're new or just starting YouTube or anything, that really isn't a big deal. But to get rid of the watermark, I think I paid something like £30 a year, but it's so worth it because it's so simple and so easy to use. So I have Filmora 9, but there is a Filmora Pro, I believe there's a Filmora X, I don't really know what that is. But Filmora 9, I think, is more for like beginner to intermediate video people so this is an example of one of my videos looks complicated really really isn't you just upload your files into there drag them literally just one by one into the bar so and then i'll just play through it and you literally can just pause and cut to cut out all my waffling or any like awkward pauses or anything like that to add in the screenshots or the screen share that i did with that screencastify you just again upload them into here and you just literally drag them into there and then once they're there you can like move them around and it's so simple because i am not uh what's the word i'm not like technically minded so if i can do that and add in screenshots and screen shares and stuff you can easily do it now the filmora pro i think is more like intermediate to advanced or expert so if you're like making videos that are supposed to be you know really beautiful or like you're going driving around some really nice place or like travel vlogs and stuff you might want to get more of a pro version because they have tools that more like color correction and things like that which would be important for travel style videos but if you're just doing videos like me where you're kind of doing how to's or sharing screens the filmora 9 is perfectly adequate i mean i don't use half of the tools on here and i i love it i find it really really easy to use and yeah i'm sure it was 30 pounds a year which is bargain i reckon and then literally once it's done you just press export and it will save to your computer then you can just upload it directly to youtube now for the thumbnails i just use canva.com because it's free and it's awesome i upload screenshots to add in they have all these awesome templates that are free to make it look cool uh, everything that's free will come up with free when you hover your mouse over it so just be careful about that but yeah, you can add in text you can add in like little pictures and shapes and they have all kinds of photos and videos and, and again bargain because it's free and it's online so you can use it on any device uh, the thing that i have found that i am going to start paying for because i think it is worth it is this background remover now 
this is going to be more handy for if you're selling online. I'm building a website up at the minute for my um, vintage clothes. So I want the pictures to be really good. And if you've ever tried using the background remover on eBay, you know how bad it really is. Uh, but this background remover on Canva is just awesome. And there is a free trial, which is what I got, which I'm in right now. I think it's a 30 day free trial just to test it out. Uh, and I've tested it on all different kinds of pictures and it's just really good and really easy to use. There is a monthly cost after the free trial. I don't know how much it is, but it's going to be worth it for me anyway, because I, I use a lot of photographs and I want white backgrounds and I want them to look good. eBay doesn't really matter a huge deal about the white background, but it would be nice for some of the, you know, some of the higher end things that I sell and for Etsy, I think their photos are really important. But I have also started using it on my thumbnails and I think they look really cool. Just makes it look that little bit more professional and then when you upload it to youtube you have the option to put in all the tags and the description and everything like that i uh, like i said i use tubebuddy for the tags which i would really recommend because since i've started using them my channel has grown a lot compared to what it was doing and i am pretty sure it's because of the keyword situation because like i said before if people someone can't find your video by type by searching for something then you know no one's going to see it and using the keyword tool has got quite a few of my videos up really high on the on the search page on youtube and also on google as well so that's been really cool and that's pretty much how i do my youtube videos in an hour a week it does change all the time and as i'm making more money from youtube i am buying better things so eventually i am going to buy a camera and stop relying on my phone even though it doesn't really matter but before the second lockdown i was going to buy a gopro just so that I could take you out shopping with me and to my new storage unit and all that kind of stuff. And I just wanted a GoPro anyway, because they're awesome. And I still live near the Lake District. And I just like one, you know, to put on my car and like drive around some really cool places just to make some cool videos like that. And a GoPro would be awesome for that because they have the like stabilizer thing. But then the second lockdown came and I just thought, Ugh, I'll just wait a bit because it's like a few hundred quid. So, But I can use the money that I make off YouTube to buy it. So that's really what I'd recommend doing is wait till you've got some money coming in to upgrade. But if you are wanting to buy something to make your videos better, I really would suggest lights or microphone. You can do it all for free. You don't need to buy anything at all. I hope that was helpful. Thank you for the requests. And if you have any other requests of any other videos you'd like to see, please let me know. Just message me on Instagram or comment down below. But thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.